move over Crawford and Billy wants next. Next to fight Canelo Alvarez. Well, that's the direction it seems like it's going. And one thing we know for sure when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, um, he may end up having to go that direction or be stripped. Now, we know Canelo still has his deal with the PBC. Nobody knows what the hell is going on over there with the PBC and Al Heyman. But one thing we do know is something needs to materialize sooner than later because there's some big fights on the horizon um, and that need to get made. But they can't get made and sorted out until PBC figures out, you know, when they're going to start making fights. We're already a couple weeks into the new year. There's no announcements as far as fights. So something's up. But nonetheless, man, this guy, Christian and Billy, he says that he wants to fight Canelo. <clears throat> He'll do anything to fight him. And for those of us who are excited thinking Terrence Crawford can get Canelo later this year, to that I got to say that we should all hold our horses and not take it to the stupid for thinking that a fight like that could materialize. But anyway, this past weekend, they got this guy running around here named Christian and Billy, man. 26 wins, 22 by KO. He's undefeated. They had a few regional titles that he defe he defended this weekend against this guy named uh, Rohan Murdoch. Uh, happened to get a six-round TKO against him. Uh, very, very strong fighter. Uh, throws a whole lot of punches from the first second of the first round to the last second of the last round. He was just there putting in work, man. And uh, his opponent Murdoch was a good fighter. He just he just got overwhelmed, man. You know, but I'm gonna tell you what: when we start, when you start seeing fighters' corners throw towels in, that that means that there's something special about the the opposition, and that's what uh, that guy Murdoch's corner was saying about him, Billy. It's like, look, man, this guy. Is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Matter of fact, it reminded me of how people talk about Subaru Matias, who fights at 140. He gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And it comes a point to where the corner knows, okay, my, my, my guy has no chance of winning. So they got to stop the fight. And although we as fight fans get frustrated, I think that's a responsible thing to do. And that's what M. Billy said, you know, as far as them stopping the fight. He, he feels like he sent a message to the whole division, that, you know, I'm here. And he said, you know, I recognize that Canelo's the best. Everyone knows that. we got to give him his credit. But now I want to show that I'm the best in the division. So my goal is to fight him, and I'll do anything to fight him. And I believe he will. I think this guy is one of, the, one of those fighters who will take a 75-25 split, an 80-20 split, you know, just to get that opportunity. Because could you imagine if a guy like M. Billy was fighting out of France. No one knows him. If he gets an opportunity to fight Canelo when he clips him, then what happens? I mean, he's he, he, he could be in a... I mean, he'll be in a much better position. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be, you know, on the on the road to, to, to riches and, and everything. That's not how it always works. Because I remember when Zahir Rahim beat Eric Morales. You figured that he would have been in huge fights, making huge paydays. That's not how his career worked out. But I'm going, to, I'm going to show you guys something to show you just how close M. Billy is to a huge opportunities. Now, this is the 168-pound division. Now, this is the racket stack for the WBO, IBF, WBC, and WBA. You can come and look right here. Under the WBO, M. Billy's ranked number five. Underneath the IBF, M. Billy's ranked number three. Underneath the WBC, in Billy's ranked number one. Underneath the WBA, in Billy's ranked number one. So when you take a look at M. Billy, he's in a very good position to get a huge fight next. Maybe they try to make him fight Morrell. Uh, since Benavides, you know, continues to get screwed around when it comes to that Canelo fight, maybe they make Benavides fight M. Billy. Uh, you know, I don't know what they're going to do. But one thing I will tell you is M. Billy is right there. Right there. Now, will he get the Canelo fight? I don't know. I think Benavidez should get the shot. 
But you know how that goes with the secret society. They're going to do what they want. Should Crawford get the fight? Hey, I think Crawford deserves it. He put enough work in. Give him the fight. But that doesn't mean we're gonna, he's going to get it. Because the secret society does what they want. All I know is the PBC needs to figure out what the hell the next move is for their fighters. Because you got a lot of other guys who are active and who are hungry. And, you know, they want to get an opportunity. But that being said, you know, what do I think happens if Mbele faces Canelo? I think it's an interesting fight. I don't. I really don't know. But what I will tell you is, Mbele is young. He's hungry. He doesn't have the wear and tear on his body like Canelo does. Uh, but he throws a lot, a lot of shots. And when you throw shots like that, you leave yourself open for huge, uh, huge counters. And maybe Canelo can pull it off. But then again, like I said, I don't know. It's just an interesting fight. And we just have to see how Canelo looks. He looked good against Jamel, but he really didn't do much. Um, Jamel moved around a lot, but I'm not so sure that Canelo can still get in here and you know tranquilize these guys. You know Canelo's style has evolved into to more of a power puncher, single shots, uh, very intelligent, and in his punch selection, setting up his shots. But when you got a guy who's just in there swarming, uh, who just swarms you in volumes of punches and it can hit, it, it, make, it can make it pretty pretty tough on, uh, on Canelo. But, but that being said, we just have to wait and see how it goes. So That being said, move over Crawford and Billy wants next. Everybody wants next when it comes to, to Canelo. I just think Canelo's a, a tough pill to swallow for anybody. But again, these guys, you can't stay at the top of the sport forever. At some point, uh, you, you start to show your age. You start to decline a bit. And these, these up-and-comers, uh, stars just line up and they get the biggest win of their careers. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.